it fits on one end, but got a little bit of a gap it there. Doesn't quite fit the other. Ah, oh, that sucks. Bummer. We have arrived at our little layover. We decided to actually get a campsite at the Nashville KOA. We've been here many, many times before, so I'll link those videos above if you are interested in checking those out. Uh, normally we don't get a campsite because we don't really plan on doing anything that we can't do on our own for free, but we decided to splurge to end this uh, trip on a high note. Maybe they'll have another open site tomorrow and we'll stay another night. It's always a possibility. But for now, Mike went up to the camp store to see if they had any burger buns because he really wants a cheeseburger because I swear he lives off of cheeseburgers. It's crazy. So I got some meat thawing in the sink right now. Dogs just had their dinner. I'm gonna crack open that beer <laughs> and just kind of relax. Maybe we'll get in a pool and hot tub here try to carry on the, the good times. Grill is going. The piper's up here means one thing. Yeah. Means um, there's some burger. Yeah, I'm going to use our Grillaholics Burger Press. It's been a been a minute since I used it, but I'm also seasoning it with the Grillaholics salt, pepper, garlic, butter. Yeah, we haven't used it in a while, but we have, have had burger patties. Yes. Now you have to make them for me. I do. I do have to make them. We don't have anything to put in them, you know, like onion or anything. We just... I'm just going to make burgers. Just yeah, we'll use the Grillaholic simple. seasoning on it. Yeah. And that's always good. I'm going to, like, mush it in there type thing. Yeah. Waiting for your burger pipe? She is. Guy's waiting for it to drop right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's just looking in the corner. I'm not putting any filling in it, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just kind of shoving it down a little bit. That way it doesn't stick to the paper. Looks good to me. I'm good with that. It's a nice thick burger. That's what I like. That's what you wanted. You said I like you it wanted it thick. thick. So I done did what you wanted. Yeah. Make it be thick. See something you like? <laughs> All right, we got two sticks, two thins. Yep. We got dinner and breakfast. <laughs> All in one plate. Is what we're calling this. So when people always say like we we will make a lot of food, it's because we make extras so that I don't have to cook a whole, and get the whole ordeal out again the next day. So it's just kind of time saving. Oh yeah, thick. And then the thickest thick. That's your thick thick. Yeah, it is. Now, while you're working on this, I'm going to work on the water situation. Okay. So, I'm just thinking, this valve is still busted. We're still bypassed. I haven't got the parts yet. But we do have the uh, low point drains that come out down here. So, this right here is the low point for the cold, low point for the hot. And again, that's the tank drain. I think I'm going to connect the city water to this and just back feed. It should work. It just comes out right down there. The hose is connected. Now we got the moment of truth. I'll turn this on because the water is already on on the water spigot. Okay, I heard water flowing. Should be back feeding now. Let's go in and look. Are you done yet? Uh, actually, the breakfast ones are probably. Oh man, done. look at those. That was like a couple minutes. Dang. So that's right. when you have the grill on for like an hour before I was ready to cook. <laughs> oh, back to my, my mission. <laughs> hey, guy. Hey, pipe. So the pump. Pump is off. We shouldn't have water. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got city water. Just gotta get the air out. We have hot water. Oh, yeah, super hot. And it's hot. Oh, perfect. It works. We got city water. Oh, sweet. So I can just do laundry like we're on city water. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> Look good. Look real good. So I brought that beer out for you. Yeah. 
for nothing because it's done. No, I can... Just because the grilling is done doesn't mean the beer has to be done. I mean, I still need to clean the grill and prep the burgers and there's a lot of work left to be done that requires some assistance. After you. Well, there is your masterpiece you have been begging for and refuse to take you know any other meal other than this well i only drove like seven and a half hours today you got to be a passenger princess you're on the couch you're drinking beer and going to the bathroom and it was amazing <laughs> piper is also a passenger princess yeah. she moves about guy hangs out front with you yeah it does yes you do well let's see how it is mikey see if it's up to your par since you got the thick one Oh, it's dripping. It's good. It's perfect. It's delicious? Mm-hmm. Piper agrees. She's like, give me some of that. It was gone. It was very good. Yeah, so it was very, very filling. I'm stuffed. And now, now, the moment I've been waiting for. Yeah. Where's mine? It's up, it's up at the store up there. Oh. You didn't give me one? Jeez. Oh. I don't want one, trust me. <laughs> Since we got city water, and we got sewer, I'm just not connected to it. Might, yeah. as, might as well throw in some laundry, yeah, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry because that always just helps keep laundry low. And why not? We have the water. It's really helpful to me, later on me, when I don't want to be doing longer laundry at home. Just do it now. Save me some time. And while you're doing laundry, I'm finishing my cookie ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I like how these these rolls are working out. But you did drive the whole way here today. We did get some new magnets. Yeah, we did. Got this one, Reed Bingham. And this one from the uh, Motor Coach Resort. That place is awesome. I know. If you guys have a Motor Coach to their standards, we highly suggest you go there. We did not get anything from Florida while we were there. Because we're stupid. Because we, we're stupid. We had tried, but every time we thought about it, there, the shop was closed. So here we are. Time for a walkabout. I got to work off that ice cream sandwich. I just got a lot of energy to burn. Oh my gosh, so much. It's going crazy. Yeah, we're sorry to everyone who has dogs and sees us while we're out walking them because she's a little wound up from being in the race all day and seven and a half hours and then it it's like driving. all the smells and scents and activity she's just on high high strung right now it is very very busy here right now and there's still people coming in and we're here on a not a normal check-in day so it's Saturday Now that's a nice motorhome. It's a motorcoach. Yes, it is. We just learned that we are a classified motorcoach. Motorcoach. Mm -hmm. We qualify. Well, we currently have some good smoke rolling. <laughs> There's some flames in there. It should get going. This wood was really good. We bought it in Georgia. Yeah, it's coming. There's a breeze, so. It's really gonna help it get going. It. Yeah, we don't need the blower. We got our nature's blower. Oh, look at the little guy. He said it's such a big day. Just cuddled up by the fire. Oh, with grass in his mouth. So cute. It's 80 degrees. What is happening? It's not 80. Anymore. It is. It's so windy. It's windy. It's going whooshy all over me. <laughs> I'm not like cold. I'm actually hot now. But when I'm sitting there doing nothing, it makes me cold. Doesn't matter what the temperature is. There will always be a woman that's cold. See? Yeah, you know windy. Blowing everything all over the place. <laughs> it was a really nice fire. Kind of relaxing. And it, it had that effect on our bodies because. Now we're tired. Now we're like, oh my gosh. 
winding down. Travel days are hard, though. They are. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree that travel days can take it out of you if you're going a long distance and doing all the things? Well, that was a good uh, layover, I guess you could say. It was very good. Dogs got to walk, we got a fire, we got yeah. dinner. It was just relaxing. It's kind of just what we needed just to break up yesterday's travel. Yeah, normally we do like Walmart and Cracker Barrel, something like that. But yeah. we wanted to, you know, have a fire, walk the dogs. Yeah. When we do Walmart and Cracker Barrel, it feels like, you know, in out, in out. Just get in, get out. Right, and we're not walking the dogs because you don't want to look like you're camping and doing all this stuff. So we just kind of mind our own business and stay in the wraith and... But this was nice because the dogs got a lot of good walking in. There's our campsite. All empty now. Yep. Say bye bye. Probably can't see it through the dirty <laughs> nose print window. But we are gonna start to head north, uh, well, further north. I say we've been heading north. Now we're just going more north. Yeah. I actually think it's gonna be warmer. I looked at the weather and it's warmer up north than it is here in Nashville, which is kind of surprising. Yeah. Who would have thought that? Yeah. Check it out. This is the new can't leak because the old one leaked. Yes. And the old one, they did not have parts available, discontinued parts to repair it. So I'd buy this. This one's all brass. Look at this. Yes, that is actually nice that it is all brass. And you also noted noticed something else that was nice. Well, how this turns. Yes. Oh yeah. This turns just it's so much easier how it turns. I had to use two hands when there was no pressure on the lines. I'm not yeah. turning it with pressure. This was the only thing in the box, just like this. It was wrapped in, you know, this bubble wrap. Uh, nothing else in there. Okay. I looked, now I looked at the packing slip. This is a little bit concerning. It says low lead. Shouldn't it be zero? Yeah, it says zero lead. It should be for drinking water. I've had lead poisoning and it sucked. There's nothing here is labeled, literally nothing. So, I mean, obviously this is your water in, mm -hmm. obviously. So I printed out, I went to their site and I printed out these uh, diagrams. It looks pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Look at the back, so here's the back, right? So it looks like this goes to the water pump. Uh, let's see, this one goes to the tank. Yep. And this one goes out to the, uh, the fixtures. Two cold fixtures, yeah. yeah. And then this one, it looks like it just goes from here to here. It's like, doop, doop. It's mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. We'll pull the old one out and uh, we'll see how easy that old one comes out. Now it's only two, four, six, eight screws, but they've been in there for three, probably four years. We've owned it for three years. Right. They've been in there for but four years. Who knows when it was actually placed in there. So let's see if it comes out very easy. Before I begin, I peeled off all these stickers. You know, it says like fresh water connection, city water connection, and it was all right there. We don't really need those. No. Now, this was painted all nice. The new one has just got <sighs> that white plastic. So now you're going to see the white plastic. Yeah, but... I don't really like that. Now, I'm using a screwdriver instead of my little baby impact because I don't want to break these screws because I've done that over on the other side. I was replacing the outlet cover on the outside outlet and the screw snapped off. Same thing on the furnace cover. The, the screw snapped. So I'm doing this by hand. This <laughs> Learn, lesson learned. <laughs> yeah, I broke two screws. Do you think I would have only broken one to learn that lesson? Yeah. On another note, what a freaking beautiful day it is outside. It's, My gosh. It's 82 or 83 degrees here and it feels amazing. Now, oh. if you remember when we were in Georgia, when this broke, I was like, oh my God, it's hot. You could literally see the sweat dripping from his face. However, it was a lot more humid. Here yeah. it's like 30% humidity currently as we speak. It hasn't really hit those high humidity days that we normally get here in the summer. 80 degrees just hits different in the north, I guess. It does. Or you could say it hits different in the summer. Right. I don't know how easy this is going to come out because it's got like silicone around it and it's been painted. It, it wants to. I think I need to get a knife a and maybe high. cut a little around there. Be very careful. Yeah. 
you know, we have that awesome garage. You think I do it in there, but it's just a nice day. It is so nice. Plus the dogs are out here. We're all just chilling. And we want to wash this thing because it's filthy. And if you know Lynn, she only washes the wraith wearing a bikini. That's true. So if you stay tuned, you might see that. Oh. <laughs> well. There it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> you can see where I disconnected yeah. some of the stuff already. And you can see it's all plastic. Yep. It'd be nice if this fit and have to make a new one. Oh yeah, that would be nice. I mean, I could make a new one. I just don't want to make a new right. one. Right. Left this rubber behind. That hose is the last one to come off. Now, something I noticed might be worth mentioning. So Nexus uses steel to frame all their RVs, which some people say it's stronger, some people say it's heavier. I mean, who cares? What you, your opinion is your opinion. A lot of manufacturers use aluminum. Nexus uses steel. I can tell you going down the road, I can tell it's steel. It's rigid. Like right. it doesn't get any flex in the, in the body of the RV. However, this is boxed in in steel. Look at this. Look how rusty that is. Oh yeah. Okay, now look at the side. Right. And if you can, look at the top. Yeah. I think the can't leak has been leaking for a, a minute. Yeah. <laughs> at least based, a minute. Based off of that, I would say yes. Here's the new brass one. There's the old one. I mean, the dimensions look the same. This should just go right in, into its space. Yeah, Even like good. the screw holes and everything, they, they all line up. Right. It's all the same size, which is super nice. But to make this easier, I should just make all my connections outside here and then put it in and put the screws in. Which that means I gotta go back inside, run the slide out. Because remember, I disconnected two of these to bypass this valve. Right. So now I have to undo my bypass. You have to un, un bypass. Un bypass it. And I'll just push those hoses out. That way I can connect them out here and then just put it all in place, seal it up. I was really hoping this would fit, but it is different, different length. It fits on one end, but. Got a little bit of a gap it there. Doesn't quite fit the other end. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. Bummer. Since this is not correct instead of building a whole complete new one i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this side down i got out of my own stash this uh, fitting here in a clamp so i'm just going to cut this one off cut the tube down and put this in its place instead of rebuilding the entire thing right right i pretty much cut this end off as close as i could to that fitting and look that's close yeah very very close and <sighs> It could be just a little hair longer, but it's got some flex. I'll just put my clamp on there like that. Yeah, when it's and nice it'll, and tight. Yeah, tight, tight, tight. Yeah, look at that. Now I gotta remember how all this. <laughs> what you did? How it all went back Might together. Might have to go back and watch your own video. So, I know this has to come off. I need a different wrench. This is take two. So always make sure you take the time, make sure you have the correct tools before you start your project. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> remove this braided hose here. Oh, it's squirting a little bit. Yep. Probably hang on to this. Yeah. This adapter. Never know when I may need this. Right. It for worked something. Out. It worked out great. Yep, that goes there. That goes there. Uh, Piper came and joined us. Hi, Pipes. She don't help. Yeah. He always likes to help. Oh, guy too. He's, he's back there. There he is. I don't gotta go super tight. Just gotta get it, get it snug. I got it all connected. You can see it's just a jumble of yeah, hoses and it's kind of a cluster in there. Connectors and but. stuff. But Nexus, they actually labeled this stuff like tank fill. I see that. Pump, pump in. in. They did a good job. Okay. Good job so on Nexus for that. What are they correct? I assume they're correct. They are because okay. when I was inside, I was like, oh, they are labeled and they went to the correct things. Okay, good. So before I put this in, put the screws in and seal it up, I want to hook water to it 
and test it for leaks. Good idea. That's the first thing I want to do. Yeah, test it before it goes in the wall and in makes more of this. <laughs> more yeah. more of that. Hose is connected. It's set to, to city. Our old one had a four it settings. Has, this has yeah. three. Now, while we're gone, we like to water the garden. We do. So, how do you do that while you're gone? Well, I found and installed a Wi-Fi ball valve. And it's controlled via an app. So like even when we were down in Florida, 1,100 miles away, we could turn the faucet on and off to water the garden. Same faucet that this hose is connected to. Right. So the way this works, open the app. I'm just going to go to max. You can tell it to open like 20%, 40%. Right. got to go let the air out. There's going to be lots of air in here, but there it is. There we go. Let's go check for leaks. It all looks nice and dry. I'm gonna let the pressure off and it's gonna open a faucet and then we're gonna change this over to tank fill. Okay. And we're gonna make sure it fills the tank. Right. And then once that shows that it's working correctly, we'll run the pump to make sure that works correctly before I put this all back together. Fresh tank's at 47%. Okay. So we're gonna turn the Anderson valve to tank fill, turn the hose back on and it should fill the tank. We'll turn this to tank fill. Oh, look how easy that was. Whoa. That was so easy. All right. Let's go check. It's up so, to 50%. Already. We literally just turned it on. Mm -hmm. And Guy is drinking water right on <laughs> cue. Of course he is. It's filling the tank and there's there's no leaks. Everything's dry. Go ahead and turn this off. The last test is to run the pump. Yep. So I want you to turn it. I'll hold this. Just going to turn it straight up and down. Straight up and down? Just like this? Yeah, just like that. Okay, well, that See, was like crazy know. easy. Well, let's turn the pump on. It's doing what it's supposed to do. All right. It's a beautiful thing. You did it. <laughs> We're not done yet. Still no leaks. No leaks of any kind. The can't leak is not leaking. And that's just the hose. Don't worry, right. it's on the outside. We're it's on the outside. Disconnecting the city water. Now you know it's good to be put back in and sealed in. Maybe this one will be good and I'll take back what I said about Anderson Valve sucks. Yeah, I mean, they, it is a new design, so I will give them that. I will say that with this one so far, I know it's very, very early on, but I'm impressed. I'm already impressed with it. Well, that's impressive that you're <laughs> impressed i know it i it, mean the first shot there's no leaks the handle turns easy everything does what it's supposed to do so we have the new silicone you know sealing the new anderson valve into place so we're not gonna wash the wraith yet but through the power of editing it's gonna happen like I'm not sure if this is gonna show up, but it is always so dirty. There, you can really see it now. The back end always is the dirtiest, in more case than one.
Let's see that water. This is the clean bucket. The rinse water. Yeah. And it is quite dirty. Wow. Not in. Yeah, not as chunky as the rinse bucket, but still pretty bad. Look at the still stuff in the bottom. Yeah. 